So you've been on Instagram, you've seen one of those posts that a photographer does where there's, you know, an image and then you, it's like, hey, swipe to the left and you keep doing that and then there's more images and they all tie together perfectly and you want to know how to do that, tight. I'm going to teach you how to do that right now. Uh, all you need is an image and Adobe Photoshop. So as long as you got those two things, let's party. First, we pull up Photoshop. You're going to go to File, New. Uh, Instagram works in a 1080 by 1080 format at a resolution of 300 DPI. Um, if you're just doing a perfect square. So if you are doing anything bigger than that, what you need to figure out is how many slides you want your you know, carousel or whatever it's called to be. So mine is gonna be four in total. I'm gonna have the front image and then one, two, three slides. Hey Siri, what's 1080 times four? 1080 times four is 4,320. 4,320, create, all right. So now we've got a really long image here. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna go to view. We're gonna go to new guide layout. Now I've already got this set up for myself. I like having one center guide over here so I can center my main image, which is gonna be the first thing you see on Instagram. And then I got image two, three, and four. So if you had the incorrect amount of columns, instead of having a perfect square, you're gonna have more of a rectangle, which is not what you want because your pictures are going to be uh, identical squares all the way across. So you go four, or you know, if you have three, you do three. If you have two, you do two. Uh, however many, you can do it all the way up to 10 because that's the amount of images that Instagram allows you to upload. So you go and hit okay once you've got perfect squares. Uh, now you gotta get your image in there. So I go file, I go down to place linked. You can do place embedded. You can get it in there however you want. I know the image I'm looking for is this one, and I'm gonna hit place. So now it's just gonna drop it somewhere in my timeline. And conveniently, the image that I have fits perfectly within these three squares. I don't know the dimensions offhand. Sorry, you'll figure it out one day maybe. Um, so that's it. Now we've got image two, three, and four are going to be Crossroads Motel sliced up perfectly. You hit enter, and then I'm gonna hit alt and shift to constrain proportions and shift that over. So now I'm gonna have my main image and I'm gonna do shift alt to constrain from the center and shrink it down. Zoom in, just make sure we're nice and long. The border here, shift to constrain proportions. Oh, a little bit big. All right, there we go. Zoom back out so I don't have to slide across that entire thing and shift again to constrain proportions. Always constrain proportions when you're working with photos, but you all know that. And then as I'm clicking, hold down shift to keep it along that line. And then when it turns pink, pink, perfectly in the center. <laughs> Bink, he says, as it does it not perfectly in the center. There we go. Zoom out. And then I like having just a little bit of border on each of my images. So shift alt to constrain from the center again. And that's it. So now I'm nearly done. I got image one, which is my nice wide screen of the Crossroads Motel, image two, three, and over here we got image four. However, if we were to take the next step, um, I'll just show you where I kind of went wrong with this. So you go to this little ellipsis over here and you choose your slice tool and you hit slice from guides. Now I've got image one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That's too many images. I only want squares. So I hit Z to undo that. V to bring back up my cursor, and I grab this center guide and just drag it up to the top to make it disappear. Now I go back to my little slice tool, slice from guides, image one, two, three, and four. So now we have four perfect square images ready to be uh, posted to Instagram after one final step. So now you go file, export, save for web. The first time you're doing this, just to make sure that you have all your images on the screen, come down to this little, uh, section right here and go to fit in view and that'll show you that you have image one two three and four and they kind of look great out I don't know why I don't really care but make sure it's set as a JPEG not a gif and yes the pronunciation is gif I'm, I don't care if the creator said it's jif it's a gif it's jet it jot it good so JPEG we got that maximum size it's still gonna be tiny quality 100 go down here and hit save if you hit done all it's gonna do is save all the settings that you just punched in and it's gonna bring you back to the page you were just on. So you hit save and now you kinda of just name your file. So we'll call this one crossroads.jpg. And just something to keep in mind, when you save your image, 
Adobe is going to save it into a images folder. So if you work out of an images folder and you click on it and save to there, there's gonna make another images folder inside of here with your however many pictures in that folder. So since I already have an images folder that as you can see, I've done a ton of these through, I'm just gonna click on my iCloud drive, which is where my images folder is based. Got crossroads.jpg, hit save. And now we pull up where they are located iCloud Drive, scroll down to images, and just like that, we got Crossroads 1, so this will be the first thing you see on Instagram, Crossroads 2, 3, and 4, and now you just got to go post it on Instagram, so hope that's been enlightening, and if not, it's free entertainment, you know, what do you want to do about it?